In this video, I'm going to show you seven Google Form tricks which are going to enhance your Google Form. So if you already have a form, then this video is for you. But if you haven't created one yet, you can check out my tutorial on the top right of the screen. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to link the responses of your form to a Google Sheet. So right now, if you go to the responses page, which is over here, then you can see the responses in three formats. But the problem with this is that it's difficult to share it with others and you can't see all the responses in a systematic way. So to solve this, we can link all of the responses to a Google Sheet. All you have to do is click on Link to Sheets that's over here. After that, click on Create a new spreadsheet and you can give it a title if you want and then just click on Create. So now it has opened a spreadsheet on a new tab and as you can see, the questions and the responses have come here. And there are two advantages of this. First, this is auto-updating. So every time someone fills in the form, it will automatically get updated in this sheet. And secondly, you can easily share the responses with others. If you just click on Share on the top right, then, like a normal Google Sheet, you can share it with others. The second trick is to get email notifications for responses. So I'll show you how to do this. First, just go to the responses page again, that's here. After that, you have to click on the three dots that are here. So over here, just enable the first option, that's get email notifications for new responses. And now it's enabled. So now every time someone submits the form, an email will be sent to you on this email ID with which you created the form. Then the third trick is adding sections to the form. So this form is pretty short. It just has four to five questions. But let's say you want to create a quiz or a larger form with 10 or more questions. Then using sections makes the form a lot more easier to understand and fill. So now I'll show you how to create that. So let's say, after asking their name, I want to add another section. First, I'll just select this question and then click on this option on the right, which is to add a section. And as you can see, section 2 is written here. So on top, it's section 1, where it's only the email ID and name. And here is the start of section 2. So here, you can give any name to the section and the same way, you can create multiple sections. Additionally, if you want to add conditional logic to the questions, which means that based on one person's answer, you can decide which section you want to take them to. I've created an entire video on that, and again, you can check it out on the top right. Then the next trick is response validation. And this is something that many people aren't aware of, but it's really useful. So what you can do is add parameters to ensure that the responses are correct. So I'll show you how it works to make it easier. Here as you can see, I've asked for the email of the person, but now people can fill in anything and go to the next question. So to ensure that they fill in their actual email ID, what we can do is add response validation. So just click on the three dots that are here and now select response validation. And now we need to add what type of response we're expecting. So since it's an email, instead of number, we'll change it to text. Then you can change the parameters a bit more. So if you just click on contains, then you can decide if you want to add a word which it must contain, a word which it shouldn't contain, an email or a URL. So since we're expecting an email, I'll just select email. So now if someone doesn't add the email, they'll get an error. And if you want to add the error text, then you can just type it out over here. And now let's quickly see if it works. So here for my email, I'll just add my name. And as you can see, it's given us this error saying, sorry, please re-enter. So this is something that you can make use of for emails, for names, for numbers, whatever you're expecting to ensure that the user puts a correct response, you can add these parameters. Then the next trick 
is for people that are making a quiz and that's making the quiz auto grading. So if you just go to settings, then the first option is to make this a quiz. And if you enable it, then they've said that you can assign point values, set answers and automatically give feedback. So this is really useful and can save a lot of time. They also have a few more options like when to release grades and you can just go through all these settings. So now I'll show you how to add points and the correct answer. So I'll go back to questions. So here I've asked this question, have you subscribed with the options yes and no. And what I can do is add the answer key, which is the correct answer and also assign points for the correct answer. So just click on answer key that's here. Now just select the correct answer, which is yes. And if you haven't subscribed, you should now. And now I can add the points here. So I'll give 100 points for this and click on done. So as you can see, a tick has come next to yes, since it's the correct answer and they'll give 100 points if you answered correctly. So the same way, you can add this for all the previous questions which you've created. Now coming to the second last trick and that's adding collaborators to the form. So if you're creating a form with others or if you want to share the form with them, this will be really useful to you. Just click on the three dots which are on the top right here and then select add collaborators. And it works really simply, just like how you share a doc with others. So here you have to add the email ID or if you want to share a link, you can just click on copy responder link. For now, I'll share the email ID. After that, you can type a message and they've also said that editors can view and delete the responses. So if you're sure you want to give them access, just click on send and then it will be sent to them. And if you want to send a link, you can just copy this link and share that as well. So now the final trick for this video is how to share a pre-filled link with others. So usually when you share a form link, no responses will be filled in. But if you want to keep some filled in from before, it's really simple. Just again, click on the three dots that are here, then select get pre-filled link. So now it has opened the form in a new tab and you can fill in whatever you want to be pre-filled from before. So let's say I want to keep this yes, then languages you speak English. And now I'll just get the link. So scroll down and click on get link. Then you can copy it by clicking on copy link. And now you can share it with others. So I'll show you how it works. I'll open it in a new tab. So here the form has opened. So I'll just go to the next section. So here, as you can see, the answers to these two questions are already pre-filled. So all that the person has to do is fill in these two and then they can submit the form. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to see some more Google form tutorials and tricks, you can check out these videos over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.